Oh yeah, it's time for part two, adding multiplayer. And not a moment too soon. Only 20 days later. Wait, 20 days? What do you mean 20 days? How could it possibly have taken 20 days to add multiplayer? Well, it seems that in my process of adding multiplayer, I also added a bug to my project. Which means that every now and again when exiting play mode, the canvas on my main menu scene gets completely deleted. Yep. So this project got shoved to the back burner for a while, but hey, it's back now. I later found out that I could fix this bug by discarding any changes, but I discovered this after I had already wiped and then completely remade the entire canvas, which in hindsight was for the best. I ended up adding way more details this time around with highlight effects, sounds and other fancy schmancy things. But anyway, enough of that, let's talk multiplayer. My initial plan for adding multiplayer was to use Pun's Photon 2 networking to connect to other players, as it's something I'd used before for a prior project, so I had some familiarity with remote procedure calls. But even from this footage from my Snakes and Ladders game, you can see the issue. It's not so apparent when playing a board game, but when playing a racing game, the desync was abysmal. And I don't want Pun to get any of the blame for this, it was almost certainly my implementation of it. But anyway, I went looking for another networking solution and came across NGO, Netcode for Game Objects, which is Unity's very own networking solution. But I wasn't completely sold with the way this was implemented either, as you'd have to enter in an IP address of the host you wanted to connect to, which seemed so archaic like the old RuneScape private servers, which ran rampant with DDoS attacks. So that had to change too. Which is when I learned about Relay and the Unity lobby system. Oh yeah, everything I ever dreamed of. Get a load of this, it's got everything. A lobby select menu, no more IPs here, no thank you. You can choose your profile and display it in the lobby to the other players. You can choose your name which will be displayed on the scoreboard at the end of each race. And best of all, the desync was minimal. So I think I'll sign up on this video for now and I'll leave you with some footage of the game in its current state.